What if I told you that I could go faster than the speed of light? What if I said that there is technology that exists today utilizing faster than light principles? No, I'm not from the future. I'm actually here to tell you about some technology that exists today in modern physics experiments. Let's take a step back and think about light for a moment. The speed of light is 300 million meters per second. That's pretty fast. So according to Einstein's special theory of relativity, nothing can move faster than the speed of light. It's, a, it's so important that we give it its own special name. We call this speed c. So how do you go faster than the speed of light without upsetting Einstein? c refers to the speed of light in vacuum, like in outer space. But light slows down when you pass it through a material. So, for example, the speed of light in water is about 75% c. This means that if you take an object and you move it through the water at a speed that's less than c, but still greater than 75% c, that object is moving faster than light can through the water. When this happens, the object emits this blue cone of light, known as Cherenkov radiation. This is kind of analogous to how a plane flying faster than the speed of sound emits a sonic boom. Here, when the object goes faster than the speed of light in the material, it emits the visual equivalent of a sonic boom, this blue cone of Cherenkov light. So how is this useful? Well, at the CERN laboratory, there are experiments that produce these very tiny objects known as particles. And these particles are able to travel very quickly at about 99% C. So the physicists who study these particles want to be able to identify them. And one of the ways they can do this is by using Cherenkov light. By passing the particles through a medium that slows down light, and by then looking at the orientation or the size of these Cherenkov cones, they're able to determine properties of those emitted particles. So here's a case where they're using faster-than-light principles to actually make real-world physics measurements. So, how do you go faster than the speed of light? You slow the light down so that your speed is greater. <laughs> how do you move faster than the speed of light in a vacuum? I, uh, I'm still working on that one. Thank you. <laughs>